damn, that's a good intro. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so good. Hello, guys. It's LR Turbo 51 over here. I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. Guys, so sorry. I just had to pat myself a little bit on the shoulder there. I'm so proud of my videos. With the minimal resources that I have, I still manage to make stuff that I'm proud of. So that's always a good thing for anybody who wants to start their own YouTube channel. Guys, the, the main thing is you need to be proud of your work. Nobody else is allowed to judge it. It's only you. So guys, with me being a little bit of a preacher, please drop a like down below on the video. It's only going to take you a nifty two seconds. I highly appreciate that. Thank you very much. But let's get back to F1 2020 career mode. Season 2 of Driving for Ferrari. For the Scuderia. Yes, I want to earn my pizza and pasta. It's going to be magnifique. Magnifique. I think that was a French accent, not an Italian accent, but who cares? Let's get straight into the video, guys. Um, so you guys know I'm still at Ferrari. We're quickly checking some upgrades to do before the season starts. Um, it's a full 22 race calendar, um, so it's not like a short one like last season, guys. Please follow me on social media. Share the video with your friends. Tag me in the post or the story, and I will give you a shout-out on social media social media as well as in a future video links in the description down below so guys now it's time to fast forward time it's time to look at this beautiful ferrari it's gonna look the same as last season but i do commend code masters for giving the the reveal of the cars such a cool intro i think it's absolutely fantastic um unfortunately there was no further upgrades we could do or was there i think i might have gone for drag reduction on the rear but Guys, without further ado, let's look at our Season 2 Beast. That is still so good. <laughs> Guys, the fact that I add my own music, it makes it pop a little bit more in my opinion. But ooh, that's good. I love that reveal with like the dark background and the lights flashing every and at the end, the entire car just lights up. Ooh! It's good, man. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. So you guys can see there are a few upgrades coming in. Remember, guys, unlike in my team, here the team upgrades their facilities on their own. We only take care of the car alongside our teammate. Um, so there's the quality control upgrades that Ferrari has done. It doesn't. It, it affects us because it makes our job easier to upgrade the car, but um, we still need to earn those very much needed resource points to upgrade the great prancing horse. So for those of you guys that don't know, the, the nickname for Ferrari is the prancing horse because of the logo. It's a horse standing up. It's just fantastic. The prancing horse. It is magnifique. Um, and you guys can see, Heading into this race weekend in Melbourne, you guys know I've never won a race around uh, Melbourne and Melbourne, Melbourne, whatever. You guys know what I mean in Australia, and I would love to do that. There you guys can see, not a big shift in the driver market. Charles Leclerc, who I replaced at Ferrari in the beginning of Season 1, has just gone to Haas with the retirement of Mr. Roman Grosjean. So, ooh, you guys can see I'm already back in Season 2, bus busy bu busting up the car. But you guys know, I want to do good this season. Not not just win the Good Drivers Championship, I want to win the Constructors as well, alongside my teammate Sebastian Vettel. We've chosen our rival, the, f the, the, the current reigning world champion, Valtteri Bottas, and it's time to get Season 2 underway. Let's head to Quali. Yeah. Oh yeah guys, it's time for season 2. It's still just one quality session guys, a short quality session of 18 minutes. We come around the final corner for the end of our first lap. We come across the line to go actually pole with the 1 minute 19 6. Thank you Jeff. Just after that our teammate Sebastian Vettel beats us. On our second run you guys can see I take a very very wide line through that middle sector. I'm right left. 
Um, the corners here at Melbourne, you really have to use the curbs. You need to, to um, use the curbs to gain you some time. If you are able to get the traction down properly, you can really gain a lot of time. Just a quick little flash there of what happened in our second lap, the, the main moment of our second lap. We come across the line with, a, with just under a four-tenth improvement to go P8. Hoi vai! Okay, guys, clearly you guys could see. Where did I damage my front wing? Have set us back a little. What? Where did I damage my front wing? That's not fair. In any case, guys, um, if Jeff talks now, I'm going to talk over him, by the way, unless when we go out of the gar garage. Checks complete. We're ready. We are ready for our final lap and quality, guys. We've got a lot of time to gain, guys. We cannot be P10! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not happening. Not happening. Let's go for a lap around this beautiful circuit in Australia, the Melbourne City Street Circuit. Through the first two corners, take a very quick line through there into the second part. It's a very tight right-hander. It's not a hairpin, but also not a 90-degree right-hander. It's just a corner. There we go. Left-hander, mount the curb on the outside, flat out for this next right-hander. I mount the curb on the inside, which does lose me a little bit of time, but it's not the end of the world. Into this right-left part, mount the curb on the outside. Be careful not to extend the track to invalidate your lap. Through the flat out right hander into probably one of the hardest braking zones on the track. Second gear, clip the curb on the inside. I choose to stay away from that outside curb because it can easily spin you. And I got the traction down beautifully. Four tenths up on our time already. Into this beautiful part of the track. It's it's almost flat out, guys. You barely break through there. Open up DRS on the back straight. Heading towards the final sector. We are in the final sector, if I'm not mistaken. And here we go. Into the, the right hander. Into another one, which is much quicker. Down gear to fifth. Fourth if you want. Mount the curb on the inside and on the outside. Into the penultimate corner. Hard on the brakes. Hug the inside. And through the final corner. Hug the inside again. Get the power down as early as possible. Open up DRS. As we head towards the line. It's going to be P! With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Vettel, Bottas and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Guys, fantastic first qualifying of the season. We really pulled it out in that final run and quali. Unfortunately, our rival Bottas does beat us, but it is now the end of the world, you know. So guys, it's finally time for season two of career mode. Driving for the Scuderia. Let's head straight to the Australian Grand Prix. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at Albert Park, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. And home to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So here we are at Albert Park Circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend, of course, make for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Parker, Carlos Sainz, and Gasly, Albon, Kvyat, Ricardo, and Esteban Ocon, Verstappen, Raikkonen, Lando... Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Guys, sorry for snipping the grid preview short there. Like you guys know, the recording was a little bit wonky. Guys, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe down below. Don't forget to ding the bell to never miss a future episode. Especially if you are new. Actually, only if you are new. <laughs> and guys, first race in Australia is going to be a banger. Mercedes versus Ferrari. Renewed. You guys know what to do. Let's jam together on the warm-up lap.
Guys, are you guys ready for the Australian Grand Prix, the start of season two, as we head to five red lights, and it's a quick go, go, go for the Australian Grand Prix, the season is underway, Vettel blocks off Bottas for, for the lead, Hamilton on the outside, I'm on the inside, can I jump Bottas into the first corner, I even go up the inside of Hamilton, the perfect start for the Scuderia, it's Vettel leading the way from myself, P2, Hamilton is in P3, Bottas P4, we have absolutely schooled Mercedes off of the line, but the question is now, can we run away with it or can we if they are quicker than us which I do think they are can we keep those two Black Panthers behind us it's gonna be a task and a half but it is Ferrari leading the way and you guys actually just a quick thing you guys have not seen my season 2 helmet yet for a reason I was a little bit late on the design you guys know PlayStation we don't have all the fancy mods of PC players but I still think the helmet that I'm gonna have for season 2 it's a banger it was just uh, oh, the excuse I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna use is it was just a little bit late out of production so it's not my fault it's Ferrari's fault <laughs> oh guys as we head towards the end of this first lap you guys can see it's actually a McLaren in P5 leading the way from an Alpha Tauri I think it is Science and Gasly I can be mistaken but um here we go into the final sector and you guys can see I'm actually trying to get onto the back of Sebastian because obviously guys I want to fight for the championship and because it's a new season there's no first second driver things anybody and everybody can go for the championship through the final corner open up throttle Vettel is so good out of that final corner look at that Ferrari of his bolt away and now here we go end of the first lap it is Ferrari 1-2 what can we do for the rest of this race you can see we head on now to a few laps later and Vettel after the first lap guys Vettel just said bye bye and he yeeted away from me and he left me up uh, he, he offered me up to Mercedes basically so it is myself defending from Hamilton and Bottas we head towards I think this is my this might be lap six guys it can be a little bit later I'm not exactly sure the, the number on the steering wheel is so tiny but um we are the first car to dive into the pit lane guys I committed to the two stop because this Ferrari is really quick we strap on a second set of soft tires to push for this middle stint and now you guys can see we head on board with launch troll on lap seven I will the start of lap eight as he is going around the outside of Roman Grosjean beautiful move there from the Canadian and he is up I'm not sure into what position but this is as far as I'm sure not for points just yet you can see I am out right behind the two Williams drivers and here we go on Nicholas Latifi into the, the, the third corner around the outside that, sorry guys that's actually Russell the, no, no, no that is Latifi I, I, I don't know I don't know it's one of the two Williams boys and now we are right onto the gearbox of George Russell we are going highly aggressive for the strategy it was Russell who we overtook first actually so this is Latifi Woo! that was stupidly close to his gearbox guys I nearly made contact there but here we go Latifi on the outside I'm on the inside beautiful run through there mount the curb on the inside and the outside and that is us now up into P17 clear ahead of us so we can push like mad here we go we go on a few laps later and I have caught up to the rear end of Grosjean okay guys he must have a problem because he has just dropped away from the rest of the pack um actually no no that is Grosjean that is Grosjean is it Grosjean or Leclerc it can't be Leclerc guys Leclerc qualified P10 GG's to Leclerc for getting that Ferrari so high up we now jump on board towards the end of that lap it is my teammate Sebastian Vettel diving into the pit lane you guys can see, I think it is Hamilton staying out and Bottas diving it in alongside Vettel. Actually, no, it's Hamilton diving it in and Bottas staying out. So the question is, have we jumped these guys? I think we did, guys, because we were flying on those new soft tires. Um, here you guys can see, we go on board with myself. And as we come past the pit lane, there's Vettel. We have jumped them and Vettel and Hamilton are going onto the hard tires. So guys, even at the end of the race, when we are going to be on medi mediums, they are going to be on old hards. We will be quicker. Now, have we jumped Bottas? I think the fact that we jumped Vettel, who was still s with a very good margin in the lead, I think we will have jumped Bottas, unless he had an absolutely bonkers um, in lap. So let's see, Bottas out of the pit lane. Where do we find ourselves? Come on, go through, go through. There we go through the final corner onto the main straight and you guys can see I am just I'm putting this Ferrari on rails I'm going for gold past the pit lane we are here ahead of the fly the second flying fin he is actually behind Vettel and he might be behind Hamilton 
Woo! You guys know what happened there in Season 2 of F1 2019. Hamilton and Bottas had a little bit of a oozy doozy through that first corner. Luckily, they did not repeat that. Now we go on board here with Kimi Raikkonen, the actual flying fin, guys. And into this first corner, here comes the racing point. Oh, no! There's contact! There's contact between Kimi and Stroll. And Kimi is around in the Alfa Romeo. That is such sad news for the fin let's have a look once again here at strolls pov guys he would just had the overspeed and he went for it and oh guys that is so hard to judge whether that is with whether, whether, whether stroll deserves a penalty or whether that's just a racing incident if it was up to me at the end of the day i think i would go for a racing incident we jump back on board with myself guys this is one of the the Alphas, who hasn't come into the pit lane yet, it is Gio Venazzi, obviously. And as you guys can see, I make an easy move up the inside as we are still, we just, we're just pushing ahead. But it is already time for our second pit stop onto a set of mediums. And yes, guys, I know we will, we will fall quite a long way. Oops, sorry, excuse me. I just quickly had a little bit like an inner hiccup. We are going to fall a far way down the grid, but we will be able to catch Mercedes if I can keep the pace on the medium that I did on the soft. You guys can see there, we are going to go... Oh, there's a big train on the main straight. No! No! This is not what I had planned! P1, P10, P11! Oh, boy. Okay, guys, we've got Norris! Okay, guys, we've got a massive amount of work ahead of us. We are P11. That has totally blown up in my face. Like in totally. Okay, guys, it's time for head down. Let's just push. Concentrate up the inside of Danny Kvyat at the penultimate corner. A little bit of bumping and barging going through there, but I forced my way through there. Guys, I knew as soon as I saw that I came out P11, there was, we had a bit of a problem. We had to go very quick. Very quick indeed. Now we are, we are into P10 now, so we are on the back of the Renault of Esteban Ocon, if I'm not mistaken. And through the second corner, here we go. It is Ocon V Turbo. Into the next corner, we absolutely just blitz Ocon in a straight line. And that is us now up into P9. Is that actually Ricardo or Ocon? Why is it so hard to see the numbers of the cars here in, in Australia? It's just a pain in the, in the rear. So you guys can see now, I'm behind Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. What is Max doing all the way down here in P8? We are absolutely going to just go up the inside of Verstappen. And that is us now up into P8. He is down to P9. We are right behind the second Renault, whether it's Ricardo or Ocon. We do not know. Uh, that is actually Ricardo. So it was Ocon who we passed first. And the thing is, Ocon's number is 31. Uh, Ricardo's is 3. So you always see the third 3 on both cars. But in any case, we are now jolting away for P7. You have to see, I'm going... Risky move to take. We hug the inside, and that is a beautiful move, even though it was risky. Up the inside of Daniel Ricardo. What a move! Okay, GG's to myself. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Now we we set our sights on Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tauri, as this is now for P6 on on the road, guys. Here we go. We have DRS on Gasly, but we are not close enough to go for a move just yet. We will have DRS again on the main straight and the first back straight after the first two corners. You guys see, I'm very close to Gasly. The grip um, advantage is just superb on fresh medium tires to all compared to old hard. Through the final corner, open up the rear wing, and it is now time to take T Pierre Gasly to the school of overtaking, aka my school of overtaking. We head towards the outside, light to the brakes, into the first corner. Oh, there's a little bit of contact. Gasly is nearly round, but he hangs on to the car. What a save there from Pierre Gasly. But here comes the Australian Danny Rick at his home GP, and he goes around the outside of the Frenchman. So that is now Ricardo up into P7. Guys, he is the onboard of Pierre Gasly. So you guys can see, it really wasn't hefty contact. And I did give Gasly more than enough room. It was just that little tap and Gasly, wow! He held on so good to that. So GG's Pierre, um, the winner of the real life Italian Grand Prix just two weeks ago. Fantastic Pierre. And there we go, Ricardo around the outside. Now you guys can see it is really starting to get a bit cloudy here in Australia. Um, and we are expecting rain, guys, for the final part of this race. So guys, oh, woo! how did I keep a hold of that? Gasly 2.0, jeez Louise, how did I keep a hold of that? Oh my soul, around the outside of the second Red Bull of Albon. Science is having a fantastic race for McLaren, however. What a move on Albon there. Guys, how did we hold onto the car through that first corner? We were basically sideways and we kept our foot to the floor. 
Jeez, man, that is intense. In any case, guys, we are expecting rain. And if the rain does come down, this two-stop has completely just taken me out of contention for this race. And that is just sad. I mean, ugh. Guys, my pace was so good. Ugh. Yeah, I, I screwed myself. I really screwed myself. But there's no point in getting down. The, the checkered flag has not yet fallen. There is still a, a fair bit of, of way to go. You guys can see now on the back of Carlos' side. We are still not close enough to go for the move, however. The Renault power unit in the back of that Renault is still very strong. Well, it's, it's very strong in Season 2 at least. It wasn't so strong in Season 1. But, okay, let's, let's just get our heads down still and see what we can do against Carlos here. Onto the main straight, well, the pitch straight, how some people call it. Open up DRS. We maximize the, the final outside curb there and you got to see here we prove the straight line speed of the ferrari still not close enough but we are basically smelling the gearbox oil of science here we go through the second corner there's no way if we don't go for it now we might not go for it ever onto the outside once again we dip a wheel in the grass and it's around the outside of the spaniard and that is us back up into p4 so currently all marshal posts are not reporting rain the Marshall's not be having a beer then. And as you guys can see, the rain has started to come down. It is raining here in Australia. The question is, guys, it is so close to the rear, to, 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 to the ending part of the Grand Prix. Is it worth it to go onto semi, uh, onto intermediate tires? And guys, Albon has had an engine failure. The season has started horribly for Red Bull. And as you guys can see, that brings out the virtual safety car. Lewis Hamilton is diving it into the pit lane to try and optimize his strategy. And guys, the fact that Vettel and, and Bottas did not come in might just ruin this race for them. Um, Mr. Lewis Hamilton, Mr. Always on point with his strategy. As you guys can see, I'm going in right after him to maybe see if we can catch up to those leading guys. Because you, you win about... Uh, Guys, with a normal pit stop, if it's no safety car conditions, you lose about 22 seconds. With a virtual safety car, you, oh, you lose half of that. So you guys can work on 11, 12 seconds that you only lose. So you gain a lot of time. And as you guys can see, we are now back to green flag running. And it is super slippy and greasy out on track. Vettel and Bottas are struggling to keep the car on, on the track. And this is now where, where Hamilton and my strategy is going to come into clutch. I can't believe that Mercedes didn't just double stack their cars because that would have been an easier option in my opinion. But you guys can see there's Hamilton P3. It is Vettel leading the way from Bottas. Then it's Hamilton P3 on the intermediate. And you guys can see there's a lot of spray being kicked up. This is Pierre Gasly now in P4. But he is still on slick tires. And he just can't keep that car on the track it seems. You guys can see he's going wide everywhere. We are now in P5. Sainz P6. Ricardo P7 for his home GP. Well done to Daniel Ricardo. Danny Rick all the way. Oh actually it's Gasly P8. So Kvyat is in P4, then you've got Ocon P9, and P10 is the second McLaren of Norris, still ahead of the second Red Bull of Verstappen. And as you guys can see now, the, the rain is really starting to come down. It is super wet. These slicks on all the slick runners have to be stone dead cold. You guys can see there's no grip for Kvyat. We just put the overtake button, we press it down, and we are right past P uh, Danny Kvyat. I keep wanting to say Gasly, sorry. Um, and that is us now guys here we go back to the leaders it's Bottas and Vettel into the pit lane but guys it's a lap too late and look what that 11 second gamble on the of the virtual safety car did for Lewis Hamilton he takes the lead of the Australian Grand Prix he steals it from under the nose of my teammate Sebastian Vettel who has not put a foot wrong in this Grand Prix Bottas will still come out in P3 but oh guys now is the question is can we chase down Bottas that is the question. If we can chase down Bottas, that will be a fan. Fantastic. You guys can see here we go Bottas through the final corner This is about two laps later and you guys can clearly see I am significantly closer towards Bottas We are gaining on Bottas without a shadow of a doubt And it is now time to pounce in this Ferrari who just felt it just felt good in the rain guys I don't know why it was a dry setup, but the car felt so sweet in the rain You guys can see once again just the very next lap we are once again closer to Valtteri You can physically like literally see it as the umbrellas are out in the grandstand we've got one and a, we've got two laps to go guys 
two laps to go and there's another yellow flag for uh, oh that is science guys science is out of no it's it's norris norris is out of the australian gp and as we head towards the end of lap 28 to start the final lap of this australian grand prix hamilton has pulled the rug from out from underneath ferrari and his teammate and he has set to win the australian grand prix if he can keep it together my teammate vettel who did nothing wrong just had the virtual safety car came out of the wrong time for vettel he is now in p2 bottas p3 but he is being chased very hard by myself as we start the final lap like I've already said, I, it looks to me like I missed a repeater today. Here we go through the second quarter. You guys can see I'm using all the track possible, which is already very dangerous on intermediate tires. It's not the good way to go. But guys, I'm desperate to get onto the podium. And remember, Bottas is my rival at this stage. And also, he is the guy who I want to take the world championship from. It is the, 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 the world champion Bottas against the runner-up of the previous season and you guys can see season two has already started the tension is there it is crazy bottas v turbo as you guys can see the rear end is so loosey-goosey mr ricardo loosey-goosey oh yeah and now it is time we've only got one and a half sectors to go half a lap ferrari come on use that engine power to get onto the rear of this mercedes heading into the fast chicane which isn't so fast in the rain we are so close to bottas guys we are literally hugging his rear end we hope we there's no DRS in the wet, remember? So it's ERAs all the way. We go to the inside. We are so quick. Bottas even jolts under braking. He nearly took us out there. We are on the inside. There's only three corners to go. Bottas V Turbo up the inside. I mount the curb and the grass. We give Bottas the squeeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, did you see the move? Did I go for it? Did I send it? Or did I don't did it send it? Yeah, you Oh, can. send it! Oh, Oh, it's tough, guys. Oh, thank you. Great drive, great drive. We're really happy with that performance. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So let's review the updated driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, you can't fault anything that Sergio Perez did out on the track today. He drove flawlessly, making him an easy pick. I know that's at odds with the official decision, but I think they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their game. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. GG's Lewis Hamilton, GG's Valtteri Bottas. Guys, what a final sector on the final lap in the wet weather. We steal a podium from the defending world champion. We have started the season perfectly and that look obviously guys i would have loved a win i've never won a race around melbourne but that just felt so 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 good wow that felt fantastic guys that is the the in my opinion a great way to open up the season vettel actually took the fastest lap i don't know how he pulled off a fastest lap on worn hearts where i was on fresh mediums but ggs to my teammate he's yet to play hamilton is yet to play 
bot has us yet to play. We've got four championship contend contenders, and let's hope that us four can keep pushing each other for the entire 22 race season. This, I feel, is going to be a season to remember, guys. You guys thought F1 2019 was memorable. Wait for F1 2020. This is going to be fantastic. Guys, what a race. By the way, let's just quickly have a look at the start again. Myself and Vettel just bolted off of the line. I think, especially myself, the fact that I got up, got up the edge out of Bottas before we got to the corner and then just, just sent it on Hamilton, that was a move of beauty. And look, Vettel, he did everything he, he needed to win this race today, guys. But the virtual safety car screwed him over. So I do feel for my teammate. But that is racing. This is a cruel sport sometimes. And um, there's still 21 races to go. If you guys want to know how, how hard we are pushing, this was just the appetizer. There's not even been a main course. There's no dessert even. There's no drinks yet. This was just the appetizer. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Please drop a like down below on the video if you haven't done it yet. I highly appreciate that. Thank you very much. Guys, please follow me on social media. Share this video with your friend. Tag me in the post or the story and I will give you a shout out on social media as well as on YouTube. Links in the description down below. And finally, guys, if you are new to the channel and this is your first time viewing a video of Turbo Fox Races, please... Hit the subscribe down below. Don't forget to ding that bell to never miss a future episode here on YouTube. Um, guys, I stream every Saturday when I league race. There's videos coming out weekly. And um, yeah, it's just been, it's been insane. It's been insane. And I keep forgetting to tell you guys about some of my big announcement. Um, but there will be time for that. I'm actually going to make time on the next video. So I can tell you guys that I'm going to try and upload more guys. But you guys will understand why I'm able to do that in the next video. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys once again. Thank you so, so much for staying to the end. Like, subscribe, share, do all those fancy things. And I will see you all next time when we are back in the My Team Career mode for the next episode. Cheers!